Here are the lineups presented by the 99 for tonight's game. First, for the visiting Los Angeles Angels. Leading off, the right fielder, number three, Taylor Ward. Batting second, the center fielder, number 27, Mike Trout. Batting third, the designated hitter, number 17, Shohei Otani. Batting cleanup, the third baseman, number six, Anthony Brendo. Batting fifth, the first baseman, number 20, Jared Walsh. Batting sixth, the left fielder, number nine, Jack Mayfield. Batting seventh, the catcher, number 33, Max Stassi. Batting eighth, the second baseman, number 22, David Fletcher. Batting ninth, the shortstop, number four, Andrew Velasquez. And pitching for the Angels, number 34, Noah Syndergaard. And now for your Boston Red Sox. Leading off, the second baseman, number 10, Trevor Story. I guess not the, bar. the third baseman, oh, number right. 11, I just Raphael said to Devers. Joe yesterday, I just can't see the game in three hours. I just third, can't see the game in three hours. I can't see the game in three hours. Number two, Sandra yeah. Bogarts. <laughs> <Bogarts. laughs> That's it. Clean up. The designated right. hitter, number 28, J.D. Martinez. Let's go. Good buddy, bro. That is fifth. The left fielder, number 99, Alex Verdugo. I've never made it. That's so I've, I've always that wanted to do it. Yeah. The center fielder, number 5, Kike like, Hernandez. Like, oh, he was like, oh, seven, invite, the first like, baseman, number 16, well, Franchi with, like, Cordero. Batting eight, the catcher, catcher number 25, uh, Kevin I mean, Lewicki. It, it wasn't that bad, honestly, but it was like a company for me. Like, you know, Batting like, nine, the right fielder, other. number 19, yeah, sorry, Jackie I was like, I Bradley, that, like, I'll get John, he has the patience for like, and pitching for the Red Sox, number 52, <laughs> Michael Waka. Sweeney goes on. Uh, all right, they're going to meet me at like 5.30. Yeah. And then they were going to park in a parking lot, and they'd all, all go up. Yeah. Of course, Sweeney's like, yeah, that's, that's great. I get out at 5, and I'll meet you there. The yeah, and then like 10 minutes later, he's like, actually, I get out at 4.30, so Bruce I might go to the bar. Or I might just go in early and meet and Joe. Mr. And Joe's like, here we go. <laughs> it's like, what is wrong with that kid? Why can't he just be like, yeah, meet you at 5. It has yep. to be. Well, I guess not at the bank. Now for the game time that's temperature I, presented by Aspiration, the official sustainability yeah. impact services provider of the Boston yeah. Red Sox. Like, the temperature for this evening's game is 54 degrees. I guess he was getting cold out tonight. Soccer and sucking and game on. So Joe was like, you want to just go to a bar instead? Like, kind of tonight, we recognize a lifelong Sox fan that currently serves as the president and COO of MGM Springfield, the official exclusive resort casino of the Boston Red Sox. Here to deliver a ceremonial first place representing Springfield, Massachusetts. Please welcome no, no, Chris Kelly. Think this is a small miracle. Right? Yeah. yeah. This. And D Damien happens to be Okay, Killer Chris, man. let's see a strike. Damien's here. Oh, is Killary coming? Killary's coming, yep. Oh, we did it. Oh, he didn't hear it. He only said his girlfriend. His ex girlfriend. So, oh, man, yeah, you missed the story. Thank you, Chris, so and enjoy the game. So he has, you know, he's obviously out on the road. Yep. Thank you. So during his travels, he's been Yes. And they've kind of hit it off. They've got a relationship. Yep. Did they already break up? Yeah. They were together about two months. He said, then it started, started to crumble. Did she start to steal his money? Uh, no, she's a better football player than he is. Oh, yeah. That's... But, yeah. Fans so of the Red Sox are story. proud to partner with uh, all-inclusive so Boston one. to celebrate yeah. Asian American and Pacific Islander like Heritage Month, recognized annually in the month of May to celebrate the contributions so that generations yeah. of Asian so Americans yeah. recognized annually in the month of May to celebrate the contributions that generations of Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders have made to American history, society, and culture. Actually, like, takes a flight to Today, we yeah. recognize yeah. Quincy yeah. Like, Asian she's Resources she's well Incorporated, well. better known as Quark. All right, so she is doing this that. is a local they nonprofit together, said, organization months, that works to support and empower like, yeah, Asian really, like, uh, immigrant communities, I don't and has been a trusted well. community partner for more than 20 yeah. years. But Quarry has they worked to help new immigrants and their family members through a range of social services such as adult education, workforce development, youth leadership, food security, elder services, and cultural events. 
They are immigrants supporting immigrants working to ensure all communities have access to the necessary resources to achieve personal and professional growth. Please welcome Emily Kanner. Rocky yeah, Chan. Like, you guys mind Yeah, you guys Everybody was like, are you out of your mind? Yeah. Like, Luan Wee. Like, why would you do that? Like, that's unfair. Like, yeah. Like, yeah, that's just yeah, horrible. Here. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. I don't want to meet your ex. <laughs> Julie <laughs> Wilcox. Yeah. You hear about all your good stuff. And the executive director yeah, of Quarry, Philip Chong. Yeah, I don't know. Reading them on the field are state representatives from the Massachusetts House Asian Caucus. Tia Medro of Northeastern um, University's Hawaiian Music and Dance. She's not helping. Good. Good. Yeah. And Red Sox <laughs> employees, <laughs> Sonia Babalia, Alan Tran, Joshua Yuen, and Kurtz Wall. Thank you all for joining us today. We look forward to working with you and other community leaders to help address the needs of the AAPI community in the Commonwealth. Um, It is now they, time they for like our it. national they anthem. Like the city. Yeah. Um. Through the fields of our hearts, feelings are always keeping us close, but it's strange now. Dreams holding us closer. Meadows of our youth, a hundred and seven days, we're calling it backwards, our dreams holding us closer. Yes, we need Killary with us. Okay. Killary ended up driving. Bye -bye. 